My name is uh, John Alverdi. I uh, am a professor of surgery here and the director of the Minimally Invasive Bariatric Surgery Program. I joined the faculty actually in 1986 when I was stationed at Michael Reese when Michael Reese Hospital and the University of Chicago were a tightly affiliated sister institutions and uh, actually practiced here on a limited basis but had my clinical base at Michael Reese and then in 1992 was recruited here and have been here ever since and I developed the bariatric surgery services and the laparoscopic surgery services here. Well, the University of Chicago is uh, an environment rich in um, intellectual rigor. Uh, it has a demand of excellence that, in my opinion, far exceeds most of its peer institutions. Uh, it is an incubator for discovery. Uh, our, the physicians that practice here not only take care of patients that they will physically encounter during the generation in which they practice, but their hope is to affect many generations of patients by making basic discoveries and advancing uh, care. Its best aspect is its comprehensiveness, its um, experience, and the staff that care for the patients. Uh, we have performed over 2,000 of these different operations uh, we have written major chapters in the textbook on how to choose patients, how to manage them, how to develop a multidisciplinary team. Uh, we're very well published in this area and we take uh, that wealth of knowledge and that multi-pronged approach and offer a variety of operations, not just one, but every operation that's available is uh, we attempt to tailor to the specific patient's needs. So patients get a comprehensive evaluation, they have to fill out food logs, they have to see our dietitian, our clinical psychologist, uh, they have to see one of the uh, physician surgeons, uh, myself or Dr. Prashant, and then we meet in a group afterwards uh, in an open forum and we discuss those patients' individual cases. Um, and we come to a, uh, I like to say, a democratic uh, consensus uh, about what operation is best. Well the benefits are obviously to get a patient's weight dramatically decreased. It's the durability of that um, procedure that really um, is its most important strength. Uh, anybody can lose weight with intensive psychological, dietary, and medical therapy but the rate of weight gain in the long term is extremely high. It's, it approaches 95%. Surgery um, takes a patient who has struggled their entire life, maybe has a genetic predisposition to obesity, and certainly now has medical problems such as diabetes, sleep apnea, and other problems that are life-threatening. And it uh, induces dramatic weight loss that is durable over a 15-year period. So uh, it probably is the single most cost-effective treatment for uh, ob morbid obesity where patients again have struggled their whole life, they're 100 pounds above their ideal body weight. There are risks due to the operation itself and there are risks due to the patient's condition. Uh, we have one of the lowest complication rates in the country uh, given the uh, complexity of patients that we operate on and we're very proud of that fact uh, and it has developed because of our experience, because of our attention to detail, because we um, use belts and suspenders and try to develop a preemptive strategy to avoid complications. So we, we do minimally invasive surgery and we have developed new operations um, for all types of surgery, not just uh, weight reduction surgery, but for surgery of the pancreas, surgery of the biliary tree, different operations of the stomach, operations on the esophagus. The minimally invasive approach really is uh, 
just outstanding in every level. It decreases complication rates, decreases time in the hospital, uh, it minimizes bleeding, pain for the patient. Um, you wake up having a very complicated operation performed through five little peepholes, um, and it's a tremendous advance. Thank you.